Hi, Missouri. My name is Emily Crawford. I'm a naturalist for the Missouri Department of Conservation. Today, let's dissect a real owl pellet. The owl does not have teeth, so it swallows its prey whole. It will swallow it whole and work it down its esophagus into a muscle called the proventriculus. The proventriculus releases stomach enzymes that start to break the food down, and then the prey is moved into the ventriculus, or the gizzard. Here, digestible material is moved down into the small intestine, and undigestible material remains in the gizzard. Owl stomach acid cannot dissolve fur or bone, so that stays in the gizzard and is made into what is called a pellet. This pellet is worked back up through the rest of the digestive system and is expelled by the owl. Here we have an owl pellet. Owls regurgitate their food into these pellets. Let's break into this one and see what we can see. There's a lot of fur. It's all tightly compacted and spit back out. But you also have bone matter, a leg bone. The most interesting part of an owl pellet is that you can tell what an owl has been eating by looking at what's inside. This looks like something pretty interesting. Intact piece of skull. So definitely rodentia, as you can see by those teeth. Even the detail in the molar. Intact jawbone. Look at the detail on that teeth. The flesh was stripped away, and all that remains is the bones and the fur. It's like nature's unboxing video. Awesome. Now that I've completed dissecting the owl pellet, I have a variety of bones to compare and see what different types of prey may have been taken by the same owl in the same evening. Owls typically take prey like birds and moles, rodents such as mice and rats, and shrews. This is the jawbone of a rodent such as a mouse or a rat. You can see the teeth shape there on the molars. It's gonna look a little different than the shrew jawbone that I have here, for example. Notice the slight difference in shape and teeth. You can also see details such as vertebrae, this vertebrae is particularly interesting because it's a series of links. And you can see quite a lot of detail on those pelvis and leg bones. Those subtle differences can tell you what that owl was eating for dinner that night. Thanks for watching.